I just want to start this video off by saying that I will be buying Nitro Fuel once it releases. I'm not sure which platform I want it on at the moment. I'm contemplating between getting it on the PS4 or the Nintendo Switch or both if I can. But I'm just going to cut straight through the ice. Um, in the past, I did not want remakes of the trilogy. I didn't want a remake of CTR. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not proud of the series for doing well commercially and financially and everything for Activision and whatnot. However, um, a couple days ago, when I was talking to a friend, I almost forgot about Nitro Fueled. And I think that's really what prompted this whole conversation, if you will, or discussion in this video. And honestly, yo... Um, I can't say that I'm hyped for it, but that's not to say that I'm disappointed by it or anything. It's just that I hit a point in my life where I'm like been where I've been like overwhelmed with a lot of things and it's mainly due to repetition and I think the series is like on the same pace or path as me right now where it's just repetition. It's just the same thing uh over and over. Now, I want to give you guys a little history on the Insane Trilogy of when it released. Now, when it released, it was a PS4 exclusive in 2017, I believe. It got a multi-platform release. It was on the Switch, then the Xbox One, then the PC. You can bring up the whole, oh, it was on Switch because a dev was messing around with the hardware, yada, yada, yada. The fact of the matter is, is that it got on the Nintendo Switch regardless. The game is on every platform now. And this year, we got Nitro Field, which was announced and well as some of you may know i didn't want a remake of any of the games when i first started doing youtube videos regarding the series and stuff after the whole playstation all-stars dilemma i didn't really think about remakes as in like wanting them i was aware that it was a possibility yes but personally i wanted a new game because it's it, it was years it's been years since mind over mutant and I am aware that Vicarious Visions are not involved with the development of this game. Sure, they might be a support team, but they're not the main developer of this game. It's Binox, which is an Activision-owned developer. And they have a long track record of a lot of games that they made. I'm not going to say which games were not good and which games were good. That's up to people that are well knowledgeable of you know, the games that they developed, that they played. Um, I don't know any of that, but what I do know is that they were one of the developers for Crash Mine Over Me, which I thought was a, okay, it was a decent, it was alright, it was a cool game, I liked it a lot. Um, but it's it's one of those things where I feel like history, again, it's going to repeat itself, and again, I'm in that point in my life where everything is just kind of repeating itself, and I'm not really seeing a sense of direction to grow, you know what I'm saying? So, it's one of those weird um situations where i don't want to get myself too excited because once the game comes out it's going to be one of those situations where the excitement and I, i'm now i'm talking for the people that are excited for the game not for me personally but uh it's going to be one of those situations where people get excited for the game and then when it releases the hype wasn't as exciting as the you know leading up to it it wasn't as hype as when you made it to the destination so I don't want it to be like that. I'm still going to get the game. And I'm still going to be pretty, I guess, analytical of it once it releases and everything like that. But I'm just not going to... I'm, I'm not excited for it. I'm going to be honest. I'm not excited for it. I'm not disappointed by it. But I'm just not paying too much attention for it as much as people might want me to. Uh, when they probably don't know that, you know, I didn't want this personally. You know. And while I was... Okay, I was cool with the announcement of Nitro Field. Deep down inside, I know that I, you know, I still know in general that I want a new game, and I am hoping that Vicarious Visions are developing a new game. But if they aren't, and they keep letting the fans get what they want, then there's going to be a lack of creative freedom, and the series is really just going to be milked with remasters, which will be a really disgusting scenario to capitalize off this off of the series like that. Because I care for this series. But to be honest with what's been going on, nothing has been really been happening with the series for me to really have that much interest for it. So my love for it is still there. It's just that my interest isn't really that high 
So if people deem that as a negative, I mean, that's cool. You can't have negatives without the positives, but that's not me being pessimistic or anything. This is just me being raw, being honest about how I feel about the whole series as of yet. Not just Nitro Fueled alone, but just the whole series as a whole. So yeah, I apologize for this video not being the most well-structured. It wasn't scripted or anything, but this is just something I want to get off my mind. I have another video going up today in regards to how to play Bloody Roar Online, if, if any of you were curious about that, because I know you guys know that. I know, you, I know you guys have mostly seen videos of me talking about this series, and I care about this series a lot, too. It's like my favorite fighting game series of all time. And I understand that my demographic isn't all that into fighting games, but the concept of Bloody Roar might would be captures people's uh, interest, I think. So... Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. Whenever, if ever, which will be today. But after that video, I don't know when I'll see you guys again. So yeah, peace.